And I know that with right leadership in the White House and in the Congress of the United States, we will take America all the way back, and then some, to the prosperity and security of just a few years ago. I mean, think about it. In the first three years of an administration that Iowa supported every step of the way, we rebuilt our military. We revived our economy by cutting taxes and regulation. We unleashed American energy, and we became a net exporter of energy and energy independent for the first time in 75 years. We secured our border. We reduced illegal immigration and asylum abuse by 90 percent. And when it comes to peace through strength, we made record investments in our national defense. And our armed forces took the fight to our enemies on our terms, on their soil. They crushed the ISIS caliphate. They took down their leader without one American casualty. And Qasem Soleimani is gone. But beyond the prosperity and security of those days that the people of Iowa supported, perhaps of greatest consequence, with the strong support of Senator Grassley and Senator Ernst. We appointed more than 300 conservatives to our federal courts at every level, including Justice Neil Gorsuch, Justice Brett Kavanaugh, and Justice Amy Coney Barrett. And I couldn't be more proud to have been part of the administration that appointed three of the justices that sent Roe versus Wade to the ash heap of history where it belongs. We gave America a new beginning for life, and we can do it all again. And I'm here in Iowa today, and I'll be back a little bit later next week. Because Iowa, Iowa is the place that we shape principled conservative leadership. Iowa is the place that shaped the standard bearer of this party. And I have to tell you, over the last two years, Karen and I have spent a lot of time reflecting and praying about, about everything in this country is dealing with and what we might do to serve. And I don't have anything to announce today, but I can tell you, when I got time to announce, come this Wednesday, I'm announcing in Iowa. <laughs> You know, in contrast to the Democrats' agenda of decline and decay, Republicans have to offer a positive vision of the future grounded in, in conservative principles. And we've got to speak hard truths. 